npm run generate day one. So let's see. Okay, cool. That worked. 2022 one. We're going to use this baby and we're going to use the input that looks like this. Okay. Well, before we get started, let, let's actually read the, um, the challenge because I haven't checked it out yet. Okay, so this might take a little while, but I'm going to read through what we're actually doing here. So day one, calorie counting. Santa's reindeer typically eat regular reindeer food, but they need a lot of magical energy to deliver presents to on Christmas. For that, their favorite snack is a special type of star fruit that only grows deep in the jungle. The elves have brought you on their annual expedition to the groove where the fruit grows. To supply enough magical energy, the expedition needs to retrieve a minimum of 50 stars by December 25th. Jesus, that's all the stars. That's probably not going to happen. Although the elves assure you that the groove has plenty of fruit, you decided to grab any fruit you see along the way, just in case. Collect stars by solving puzzles. Two puzzles will uh, be made available on each day in the advent calendar. The second puzzle is unlocked when you complete the first. Each puzzle grants one star. Good luck. Okay, so the jungle must be too overgrown and difficult to navigate in vehicles or access from the air. The elf's expedition traditionally goes on foot. As your boats approach land, the elves begin taking inventory of their supplies. One important consideration is food, in particular, the number of calories each elf is carrying. Your puzzle input. Okay. The elves take turns writing down the number of calories contained by the various meals, snacks, rations, etc. that uh, they brought with them, one item per line. Each elf separates their own inventory from the previous elf's inventory, if any, by a blank line. For example, suppose the elves finish writing their item's calories and end up with the following list. Okay. The list represents the calories of each food carried by five elves. The first elf is carrying food with 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000, a total of six. Okay, the second elf is carrying the 4,000, third elf, five and six, total of 11, and then fourth elf, and then the fifth elf is carrying 10,000. Okay, in case the elves get hungry and need extra snacks, they need to know which elf to ask. They'd like to know... How many calories are being carried by the elf carrying the most calories? In the example above, this is 24,000 carried by the fourth elf. Okay, so they, they only need to know which elf. Okay, find the elf carrying the most calories. How many calories? Is that elf carrying? Okay, okay. So we don't need to know which elf is actually carrying what. We only need to go through and for, and then when there's a blank line, there's a new elf. So we have each line going through here. So what would we do? We would. Um, Maybe we need some kind of variable, uh, most calories, and that can be zero. And then, I think what we can do is like current count maybe, can also be zero. And then we're gonna do if, like line I think just equals, empty string empty empty um, whoops okay so and then if we just try and do something like this just to test 
we will get two of them, I assume. CD 2020, CD SRC 2022, one. And in here, we're just going to do TS node, node, index.ts. Uh, NPX TS node. Empty, empty. Okay. So that's good. And then we're going to retrieve all of these again. So if the line is this, we're going to start over. Um, else, I guess we can... Um, so I guess here, line would be a string. And it needs to be... So this is actually going to be... We're just going to make that explicit, right? And um, so current count plus equal line, and then we make this a number because we know they are numbers. And then in here, once we reach an empty line, we are going to check if current count is I guess we can just check if it's more than most calories if this is true then set most calories to current count okay so we could try that <laughs> okay so it doesn't even want me to explicitly say that that's fine and um <laughs> and then at the end here, we can just log most calories. So would this be correct? So uh, we also we also need to set current count to zero after that, and then go through again. Okay, so I think this could actually be. It. Let's try out the result. Answer. Okay, that's the right answer. Beautiful. One gold star. Okay, then part two. By the time you calculated the answer to the elf's question, they've already really realized that the elf carrying the most calories of food might eventually run out of snacks. To avoid this unacceptable situation, the elves would instead like to know the total calories carried by the top three elves carrying the most calories. That way, even if one of those elves run out of snack, they still have two backups. In the example above, the top three elves are the fourth elf, the third elf, and the fifth elf from the examples up here. The sum of the calories carried by these three elves is 45,000. Find the top three elves carrying the most calories. How many calories are those elves carrying in total? Interesting. So what I think we could do, I mean, my first thought my first thought would be to just save every elf's total calorie count and then at the end sort them and just pick the top three items and sum those. Uh, we can keep this first thing here. If it's a new line, um, we're not going to keep, we're not going to, we can remove that. We're not going to keep you. We're going to keep the current count. And, uh, and then we're going to do uh, like totals equals an empty array. Here I wonder, do we want to be fancy pants? <laughs> Explicitly say it's going to be an array of numbers. 
maybe we can do that. Okay, so uh, 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 if it's an empty line, we still have the current count. So I guess we just do totals push current count, and then we reset the current count. So in this case now, we're going to keep doing what we did before. On every blank line, we, we push whatever we have in current count, and we reset the current count. So at the end here, at the end here, we're going to have a big array of numbers. So then I think just like totals.sort um, sorts an array in place. It mutates the array and returns a reference. So we can just do this, actually. I think the default will just be... Um, I think, actually, A and B, and then return A minus B. So I think this is our sort. And then, I mean, the, the, the easy and just brute, brute, brute force would be total, and we can do... I mean, it's not the it's not the most um, eloquent thing, I guess, but I think this would actually be the correct thing, right? So, and then we have total. So this would be the total, and that's all we need, I think. How many calories are the are those else carrying in total? So that would be that. I think this is what we need. And we don't have index anymore. We're actually just going to do two. Uh, that's not correct. Uh, 7,000. I've gone messed up somewhere. Ah, oh, maybe, it's, maybe it's because it takes the least amount. So is it like, is this, this, would, be, this would be sorting it the other way? Okay, so that looks more like a number that we need. So this would be the top one. These were actually the bottom three L's, I would assume. Uh, so let's check if this is correct. Submit. That's not the right answer. Your answer is too low. Please wait a minute before trying again. So that was not correct. So let's review what we've done. totals let's just let's just see if this looks correct uh no it's not sorted it's not sorted properly so what's wrong with my sort and what happens if we do this do we get a different result we do Ah, so it's just my sorting is off. Okay, so if we do this and we reverse it, now this actually looks like something that we need. Okay. Total would be totals zero, totals one plus hit, totals two, and then uh, the total here would be then, okay, 201,000. So I think this would be correct. Okay, it is. Beautifully. That's the right answer. You completed day one. And back to the advent calendar. Okay, very nice. Thanks a lot for watching. And um, if you like this and want to support me, please hit the like button. Maybe even subscribe to the channel. I'll try and... Uh, I'll try and get at least 10 stars this year. We'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for, uh, for another session of Advent of Code, day two. Thank you.